Hey guys, Justin Conroy here, and today I want to talk about 401k contribution matching. If you clicked on this video, there's a good chance that there's a lot more to this topic than you realize, so stick around to the end because I'm going to cover it all. If this is your first time here and you want to learn tips, tricks, and hacks related to personal finance, how to grow your wealth, and how to better manage your money, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. So the inspiration for this video came a few months ago when I was talking to a buddy of mine. He's the director of human resources for his company. And so we were talking about company benefits and having fun together, and then he drops this bombshell on me and says, Yeah, man, it's crazy. At my company, we have a 7% match, but over 40% of our employees don't even participate in the program. Yeah, I had no words for this. So in this video, I'm going to cover employer matching programs, contributions, limits, IRS limits, and vesting programs so that you can be fully informed and understand why you should definitely, definitely participate in these programs if they are available to you. Now, the first thing to talk about is 401k program availability. Now, I'll be blunt and I'll tell it to you straight. A 401k program is a benefit. It is not a right. Your employer is in no way legally obligated to offer you either a 401k or a contribution matching program. In fact, a 2018 study done by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics showed that only 60% of employees surveyed actually had access to a retirement benefits program. So there's about a 40% chance that your employer doesn't even offer a 401k program. Now, if you aren't sure whether or not your company offers a 401k benefits program, the absolute best way to find out is to simply go talk to your HR representative. It's part of their basic job description to help employees understand benefits programs like these. And if you work for a small company that doesn't have an HR rep, the next best person to talk to would be your boss or the owner of the company. Now, the second thing to understand, what is employer matching? Now, if you've never dealt with this before, this probably sounds a little bit complicated, but let's break it down and make it very simple. Employer matching is basically just when your company says, hey, buddy, I'll make a deal with you. If you put some of your money into that retirement account over there for yourself, I'll put some extra in there, too, on top of your salary. Now, how does a company actually calculate how much money they're going to put in there for you? Not all companies do this in the same way. There's actually three very common methods that they use to figure this out. And here they are. Now, the first type of matching program is based on your salary. In salary-based matching programs, the company will look at the amount of money that you put into your 401k account and match it based on a set of rules and limits, which we'll cover in a few minutes. This is the most common type of matching program. The second type of matching program is based on the company's profits. In company profit-based methods, the company will actually put a certain amount of their company profits into your 401k account on your behalf usually with certain limitations. Now this method is not very common. Finally, the third type of matching program is based on a specific dollar amount. That is to say, if you contribute $1,000 to your 401k account, the company will contribute $1,000 to your 401k account. And in these programs, your salary is irrelevant. This brings us to the third major topic of this video, which is company-defined matching limits. Now most companies will have a set limitation on how much money they will put into your retirement account on your behalf regardless of the type of matching program that they use. Now, since salary-based matching is the most common, let's focus on that. To give you an idea what you can expect from your company, let's take a look at some data. A 2015 National Compensation Survey done by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics found that 49% of employers with 401k plans match 0%. This means that you can participate in the 401k program, but they won't put any extra money into your account based on what you contribute. 41% of employers match somewhere between 0 and 6% of your annual salary. 10% of employers match 6% or more. The median match in this study was a 3% match. Now, the tricky thing here is that not all companies even mean the same thing when they say they will match your contributions. So there are actually two types of matching programs that we need to take a look at. The first type is called a 100% match. This basically means that for every dollar that you put into your retirement account, your company will match that and also contribute $1 to your retirement account. Very simple. For sake of example, let's say that your company offers a 100% matching program with a limit of 6% and that you make $60,000 per year annual gross salary. This means that if you contribute 6% of your annual salary, that's $3,600, to a 401k program, your company will also put in $3,600 into your 401k account. And just to be clear, the money that your company is putting into your 401k account on your behalf with that match is completely extra on top of your salary. 
there is almost no reason that you should refuse this. If your company offers a 6% matching program or even a 3% matching program, you should definitely contribute at least that much money into your 401k program just so that you can get the match because it is literally like taking a raise. And if you're not doing this, it's just like your boss offering you a raise and you say, mm, no thanks, I don't need that. There are very, very few reasons you should ever consider not putting money into your 401k account to get the company match. This is just leaving money on the table. You're literally just saying, I don't want the extra money. And this is not a good decision in 99% of cases. But that's for a different video. The second type of matching is called a partial match. This means that for every dollar you put into your retirement account, your company will put in a different defined amount. Usually this is less than 100%, but for some companies, they do more. For example, let's take our same numbers as before. But this time, let's assume that your company has a 50% matching program. This means that if you contribute 6% of your annual salary to your 401k, again, that's $3,600, your company will only put in $1,800 into your 401k. So it's really important to understand the distinction between 100% matching programs and partial matching programs. Okay, on to the next topic, IRS limitations on employer matching. Yes, unfortunately, the IRS has a maximum limit on how much money you and your employer can contribute to your 401k account. These limits change almost every year, so be sure to look them up for yourself. But in 2020, the limits are as follows. As an employee, you're allowed to contribute up to $19,500 into your 401k account, regardless of whether it's a traditional or a Roth 401k. Now, keep in mind that your employer's contributions do not count towards your limit for the year. However, if you have a super generous employer who wants to contribute a whole lot of money to your account, they can, but only to a certain point. The combined limit of the employer and employee contributions for 2020 is $57,000. This means that at an absolute maximum, you can contribute $19,500 and your employer can do another $37,500 but most likely you're never going to face this problem. Also, keep in mind that if you are 50 years old or older, your maximum limits are slightly different, so be sure to look those up. Now, potentially one of the most important topics regarding employer contribution matching is what's known as a vesting schedule. Companies will often use a vesting schedule as an incentive to retain you as an employee for as long as they possibly can. At its core, a vesting schedule allows a company to retain a certain amount of the contributions that they make to your retirement if you leave the company earlier than a set period of time. Now, how these are structured can vary widely, but for the sake of example, let's assume your company has a five-year vesting schedule that is equally distributed. Usually, this would be presented as something like this. If you're at a company for less than one year, you get 0% of the money that they contribute. If you stay for at least one year but less than two years, you're entitled to 20% of the money that they contributed. If you stay for two but less than three, you're entitled to 40%, and so on and so forth up till the five year mark where you're finally 100% vested and you are then entitled to the entire amount in your 401k account, regardless of who put it in. So, what does this mean exactly? This means that if you leave your company after being there for less than five years, you are not entitled to keep all of the money that your employer contributed to your 401k account. Keep in mind, however, that you are entitled to keep 100% of the money that you put in. Your company cannot take that away from you, but they can take back some of theirs if you aren't fully vested. So let's put some numbers to this for an example. Let's assume that you make $60,000 per year and your employer matches up to 6% of your salary and retirement account contributions. You've been contributing 6% of your salary since you started the company and you've been with the company for two and a half years and now you've decided to quit. So in that two and a half years, you've pulled in $150,000 and you've contributed $9,000 into your 401k. That money is yours, plain and simple. However, your company has matched that $9,000 with their own contribution. And now that you want to quit, we have to take into account their vesting schedule. So based on the schedule we saw earlier, you are only 40% vested. This means that you only own $3,600 of the $9,000 that your company contributed. So if you leave the company, your 401k account with that company will only have about 12,600 plus any gains or losses in the account that you've seen over the time you've had it. So depending on how badly you want to quit, it may not be worth it to you because of the money that you stand to lose if you aren't 100% invested. Again, like I said before, if you aren't sure if your company has a 401k program, how they handle matching, or if there is a vesting period, be sure to reach out to your HR rep or your manager. 
They're supposed to know these things or at least be able to point you in the right direction as to where the, to find the information. Also, if you're on the search for a new job, keep in mind that things like this should be discussed as part of your benefits package with the company. Not only should they tell you what to expect before you sign your offer letter, things like matching, percentages, and vesting schedules are absolutely negotiable. Keep this in your back pocket if they won't budge on that salary. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future videos, please leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell before you leave. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good one.